Winning a conference championship is tough. Sometimes it can be the bonding of teammates. It can be the trust of the head coach and his coaching staff. Or maybe, just maybe, it's the star player making headlines and winning individual awards. But winning a conference championship is one step closer to achieving an NCAA championship in Division Three sports. The team is in its early stages of the season playing a scrimmage game against LaGuardia Community College. Head coach Ronald St. John and his turn player Duquan Lawson sees it as a way of valuing the players so far with new returning players playing together. Should, like I tell the guys, you know, take the scrimmage game seriously um, when you guys come to play because these community colleges, when they come to play you, they're delighted if they can beat you. See, they don't look at it the way I look at it. It's a scrimmage game. I don't even play it to win in that session. I play according to seeing my players play. I need a four scrimmage game so I'll get to know things. When they play us, they're playing like a real game. So if their kids on the bench who shouldn't get to play, they're not going to get to play. They're treating it like a real game. So, so when I look at it, like I said to my players, yeah, I'm a little annoyed at each other, but a scrimmage game is just what it is, a scrimmage game. We ain't come out with not enough energy. So that's how we came out. We came out sluggish. Came out sluggish. Um, and just ain't follow what the coach wanted. <clears throat> After losing the game against LaGuardia Community College, there wasn't really that much panic to the team's mindset moving forward. But the weakness of the team is defense, and that has been a priority for this team to be successful this season. And St. John is preaching that. We um, and you need to defense. We we're not as strong as I want man to man right now. So we create. We use a shell, which is a like a like a, a almost like a it's like a three two. Um, it's like almost I mean, to make it seem better for a matchup zone. Most colleges play a, a a three two set, three guys up and two. So we match up with them. So if you think of a, a shell, we call it a shell. We match up to each person, and then it's moving. So we said shell five and a shell. Shell means you're not going man to man. You're staying in that as a zone setter, and a shell five means we're going to display it as our zone, but you're really man to man. My practice is not for you to improve on your game. You have to come out before, stay out after. That's when you improve on your game, improve on your shooting. If my son will come in, he'll get 50 shots up before. You do that before practice or after practice. My practice is to prepare you for the games we're about to play. And good players know that. And a lot of players want to go, oh, I'm, I'm not getting what I need. No, because you're trying to get it into my practice, and that's not going to happen. Good guy, good players work on their improving their individual games on their own time. While the team is trying to click despite the growing pains, the biggest question of this team is the second son, Ryan St. John, playing under his father for the first time. Um, this one, it's a, it's, a, it's a little change. I mean, because you always want them to do well, but I have to, you know, on, on, their case, on his case too, just like with any other players. Now, of course, he thinks I'm on his case more sometimes. Um, and maybe I am, because sometimes maybe I feel you know better. And like one time I had to say to him, I've never coached you. So, you know, in this type of setting, I coach you at home and shooting and, and working on things with you. But this is the way it's going to be. So you better get used to it. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's like a typical son, I guess, with his father. You got to try to separate. I'm your coach, your dad. You, I'm your dad, too. But it's like like everybody else could tell him. And, and, and it's okay. But when I tell him, he just don't want to listen. I said, well, this is one part. When you don't listen, it's not going to be in your best interest. So you got to learn to because I need to make the adjustment. So he's coming along. Like I said, he's. Um, I know he can shoot the ball, so we're trying to get him to not rush things and get on top of that. But Ryan's a joy to to be with. Um, he thinks way too much. He thinks way too much when he should just just go out there and play his game. I don't think he's really concerned about what his dad says as much as, I don't know even if he's trying to please him, but I mean, he's a good player. He can shoot the ball. 
he just has to have confidence in himself. And I, I think he's going to get that. With St. John and the coaching staff working hard on the players, their main goal is to get back into the NCAA Division Three tournament. It'll be unfortunate if we don't do as well as we could be because I said, let me tell you something. Your conference has voted you as the, the team to win the whole thing. So since they feel that strongly on us, let's do that. Ring. <laughs> I want another ring. Um, another Division I, Three tournament? Absolutely. That? Absolutely. First, first that, then NCAAs. CUNY win, we want to do that back to back, but our goal is really getting past down to the Sweet 16, the Elite Eight, and keep it on going. Once you get a taste of it, you really realize what you're capable of doing. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>